See, today's topic is uh, dispersion systems, different kinds of dispersion system. Under that one, molecular dispersion, colloidal dispersion, and coarse dispersion. See, based on the particle size of the dispersed, see, based on the particle size of the dispersed phase, <clears throat> the dispersion system can be classified into three types. Number one is true or molecular dispersion. Next one is colloidal dispersion. Next one is coarse dispersion. See here, the particle size in case of molecular dispersion that is less than one nanometer. The particle size in case of colloidal dispersion is one nanometer to 500 nanometer. In coarse dispersion, the particle size is greater than 500 nanometer. Next one is mobility. <coughs> Next one is mobility. See, the particles present in the true dispersion that will exhibit the Brownian motion. See, because of the Brownian motion, the particles may not settle at the bottom of the container. See, particles present in the colloidal dispersion also exhibit Brownian motion. So, the particles may not settle at the bottom. But the particle present in coarse dispersion do not exhibit the Brownian motion. So they can easily settle at the bottom. So they can easily settle at the bottom of the container due to gravitational force. Next one is diffusion. See these particles cannot can easily diffuse quickly. The particles present in the colloidal dispersion, they may diffuse slowly. Next one is in case of Coarse dispersion, the particle may not diffuse because of large particle size. Next one is light effect. <clears throat> when we people expose the solution to the light, then the transmission phenomena will happen in case of true or molecular solutions. Because of that effect, we people will observe true solution as a clear solution or colored solution. When we people expose colloidal solution to the light, then scattering phenomena will be there because of the scattering we can observe colloidal dispersion as a turbine next one is we, when we people expose the coarse dispersion to the light see because of the reflection phenomena we can observe this coarse dispersion as a cloudy or milky in nature and we can easily observe this large sized colloidal dispersion with our naked eye Next one is rheology. See true dispersion that will exhibit Newtonian flow, colloidal dispersion that will exhibit non-Newtonian, coarse dispersion also will exhibit non-Newtonian flow. Example of molecular dispersion is salt solution. Colloidal dispersion example is hydrocolloids, acacia, trigagans, gelatin, suspension and emulsions that will come under the coarse dispersion. Next one is what are the different kinds of colloidal dispersion used in our pharmacy that is colloidal kaolin means that will act as the anti-poison that will eliminate the poison from our body. Next one is next one is colloidal aluminum hydroxide. See aluminum hydroxide that will act as the antacid. Next one is amphotericin B that will act as the antifungal agent. Next one is silver chloride or silver iodide or, or silver protein that will be acts as a germicide. Colloidal copper that is used for the treatment of cancer. Next colloidal gold that can be used for the parasites. Next one is colloidal mercury that can be used for syphilis. Next one is psyllium hydrocolloid that is used as a oral laxative. So this is about the different differentiation between molecular dispersion Next one is colloidal dispersion and coarse dispersion. Mm -hmm.